Uh, hola. hola. Buenas tardes. Ok, hoy en la clase vamos a, a introducir los adjetivos, adjetivos posesivos. Adjetivos posesivos. What are adjetivos posesivos? Possessive adjectives. Great, what does that mean? What does that mean? What is a possessive adjective? Huh? What do possessive adjectives do? They take ownership. They show ownership or they show possession, right? So adjetivos possessivos, they show possession. Okay, they show possession. AKA they show whose it is or who owns it, right? Mm -hmm. Who owns it? <clears throat> okay. Now, um, so far, we already do know how to show possession in Spanish. How have we learned to show possession so far? Okay, es el lapis de my day. So what verb do we use when we're talking about possession? Ser. What verb do we use? Ser. We always use what verb when we're talking about possession? Ser. Ser. We're going to always use the verb ser. So include that. Usar ser. Make sure you use ser when you're talking about possession, okay? And like you guys just said, previously we have used ser and we said s el lapis. El lapis de my day, right? Es el lapis de my day. And it is the pencil of my day, okay? Is how we've done it before, yes? What about if my day owns 10 pencils? How do you say there are my day's pencils and there's 10 of them? Son. What would you say? Los lapices. They might be, right? They are the pencils of my day. Yeah? So it's a form of the verb ser. Your, your formula, essentially, is a form of the verb ser. You can only use s or son plus the definite article. Plus the sustantivo. What's a sustantivo? A noun. Plus day, and then the person, right? Do you, are we remembering this? Okay, let me see one, one example. In your notes right now, I want you to write down. I want you to write this down without seeing what I write. They are uh, Roberto's, they are Roberto's relatives. They are Roberto's relatives. No one's shuffling through papers. Everybody is just taking the notes, please. They are Roberto's relatives. Okay, and if we follow our formula here, the one that we've used so far, are we going to use S or Son? Son. We're going to use Son. Son. Okay, a definite articles. They are the relatives. Los. And how do you say relatives? Parientes. That's our noun, the sustantivo. And now what do we need? De Roberto. Okay, actually, I want these to be uh, Mr. Roberto's. Del Señor Roberto. Do you remember that? De plus L becomes? Del. Del. Yeah? Does everybody feel comfortable with possession thus far? Do you remember this? Okay, there's two different ways to show possession. This is the long way. Today you guys are going to learn the short way to do it. Okay? Um, now, in English, okay, how do we show possession? What's the fastest way? There might be pencils. There might taste pencils. So what do we add in English? Apostrophe S. Apostrophe S. Repeat after me. Nunca. Nunca. Nunca, 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 jamás. Oh, there's one more nunca. Repeating. Nunca, 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 jamás voy a usar apostrophe S. 
apostrophe. Never, ever, ever will I use apostrophe s yes to show possession in Spanish. You cannot do it. It's illegal. It doesn't exist. Okay? Nunca, nunca, nunca. Never, never, never will you use an apostrophe s to show possession. Okay? Instead, we're going to use possessive adjectives. Okay? Um, possessive adjectives, they're going to be placed before the noun. Before the noun. And you guys have actually seen some um, possessive adjectives already when you did your family tree. Possessive adjectives, when I say my nephew, Ryland, do I need a definite article? No, that, that, my nephew, I don't say my the nephew, I just say my nephew. The possessive adjective that shows whose it is, right, takes the place of the definite article. Are we all cool with that? Yeah? Okay. So the place before the noun. All right, over here now. We're going to go up here. Um, for uh, possessive adjectives in English, or in Spanish, they have to agree in gender... And number for some of them. Okay? The first set, they just have to agree in number. Okay? The first set, they just have to agree in number. Okay? So, um, we're going to make a little chart here. My, your, your formal. is hers and there. And then for these ones we do not care who owns something? We care about how many things it is they own. And that's going to make sense a little bit more later. So first, we have singular, and then we have plural. Singular and plural, okay? Do you guys know how to say mine? Anybody who can tell me how to say mine? Me. You do know this already. What is it? Me. Me. With or without the accent? Without. Without. What does me mean when it has the accent? Like, a uh, me, me gusta. It's what is a uh, me? It's an IOP. To me. To me. To me. It's not an IOP, but it does mean to me. Okay? So, am I without the accent is my. Um, how would I say my for something plural? Mis. 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 Okay. So, uh, how would I say my dogs? My dogs. Right now, write it down on your paper. My dogs. My dogs. My dogs. Okay, what do you have, Maya? Mis perros. Mis perros. But Maya, I'm only one person. I'm one person. Why did you use mis? There are more than one dog. Ah, okay. So this is a weird thing about possessive adjectives. We do not care... How many people own something? We care about how many things they own. So make sure, let's write that down. Are you ready? Did you write that down? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, so what rule are we writing down? We don't care. What don't we care about? How many people, Dakota, make sure you're paying attention. We don't care how many people own something. What do we care about? The number of objects owned. Yeah, exactly. What we do care about is the number of things they own. Okay? All right, you actually know how to say your, too. How do you say your? Two. Two, with or without the accent? Without. 
Oh, weird. What does this mean? Two with the accent. You. You, you informal. Now do you see why I was such a punk about the possessive, the adjective, or the accents over these? Because it changes the meaning of what you're saying. Okay? We have two, and what would the plural one be then? Juice. Juice. Okay, how about your um, brother-in-law? Your brother-in-law. Ooh. What is it? Anybody know? How do you say brother-in-law? Cunado. So it would be, what would it be? Two. Two. Cunado. Two cunado. Okay, muy bien. Two cunado. Your brother-in-law. Okay. Now, your formal is going to be su, and this one will be what? Sus. Su and sus. Okay, your formal. These are for a new stead, right? Okay. His and hers is also going to be su and sus. And there is going to be Sue and Sue's. Okay. Now, here's the tricky part. Are you ready for this? I want to see some upper level thinking here. Let's go back to the beginning of the year when we've been categorizing things first person, second person, third person, right? Okay. Um, me and Meese, what person are those? First. First, my. Mine. So in that box, write a first person and a first person. Okay? How about your? Second. Two and two. What's that one going to be? Second. Second person. Because we're talking about who? You. You. Second person. Okay? How about your formal? It's Sue, 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 Sue. Su. What person? Third. Third? Third? Your formal is. It's like Ooh, person. your formal is going to be second person. There you go, second person. And Sue and Seuss is going to be third, third person. Third person, rocking. Muy bien. Okay? Are we all okay with these ones? Yeah? Okay, good. We're going to keep going in our notes. Now we get to the fun stuff. So these ones, do we care about the gender of the object in these ones? No. No. Okay? We just care about the number of objects that they own. Yes? Now, with our in Spanish, our has four forms. And this one has to agree in gender and number. Okay? So there's four different ways to say our. You have nuestro and nuestra. Both of those mean our. Okay, what do you notice about both of these? Both of these are what? Singular. 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 Both of these are singular. Singular. Okay, they're both singular. Now, what do you think the plural ones are going to be? Nuestros. Nuestros. And? Nuestras. Okay, nuestros and nuestras. If I draw a line right here, what could you tell me? Feminine. These ones are femenina, and these ones are masculine. Okay, so how do you say, como se dice marker? El marcador. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. Okay. And she's a girl. And this is our marker. Two girls. This is our marker. Which form of our are you going to use? It's a dude. Repeat after me. We don't care. We don't care. Who owns something? We don't care how many people own something. We care about what they own. How many things they own. Okay, so two girls and we own this marker. Does that matter that we're girls? No, and that's the part that's going to mess us up. We don't care that we're girls who own this marker, okay? How do you say marker? L or la? L. L marcador. So how would I say our marker? 
Nuestro marcador. Are you getting that a little bit? Okay, should we do a couple more examples before we move on from this one? Okay, how about um, another one of our, what's another one of our new vocab words? Um, how about, uh, how about um, family? Family. ¿Cómo se dice family? Familia. Familia. How would I say our family? Nuestra familia. So, when you look at this, okay, possessive adjectives, where are possessive, what am I teaching? Yeah, possessive adjectives, where do they go? Before, before. before the noun. They go before the noun, okay? So, we look at the word after the noun, and for these ones, we have to ask ourselves two questions. What two questions do you need to ask yourself? How many and what gender? Okay, so how you would ask yourself, is it singular or plural? If I just say S or P, will you know what that means? Yeah. Okay, singular or plural. So is this singular or plural? Singular. singular. Guys, this seems really dumb, but this is the process you're going to want to follow when you're trying to figure this stuff out, okay? Singular or plural, you told me it was singular. So that automatically narrows my results to what two? Nuestro or nuestra, right? Okay, then what do I have to ask myself? Feminine or masculine? Mr. Cates, that's not an appropriate use of your time right now. So what is it going to be for our family? Nuestra familia. Nuestra familia. Okay? Okay, how about boats? Our boats. Barcos. We have a whole bunch of barcos. Okay? You don't know this word. Does that really matter? No. Mm -mm. What's your first question? Singular, Singular or plural. And what's your answer? Plural. plural. So you have to pick from nuestros or nuestras. Nuestros or nuestras. And so you would pick. What's your second question? Feminine or masculine? And the answer is? Feminine. Masculine. Masculine. So it would be? Nuestros. What? Nuestros. Nuestros. What if a whole group of girls owned those boats? It does not matter. It doesn't matter at all. Are we okay with this so far? Okay, the other one that's going to work exactly like this one, exactly like our, is your guises. Now, this is one I want you to be familiar with and understand. But it's not one that you guys are going to use a whole lot right now, and that's totally okay. We're picking our battles here, okay? Um, for your guys' same thing, we're going to have a masculine, a feminine, a singular, and a plural. If I tell you that the feminine plural is vu e stress, I'd like to see if you can fill in the rest of the chart. Voistress. Voistress is your guys's. Your guises. Okay, so what is this one going to be? Voice stro. Voice stro. Voo a stro. How about this one? Voo a stro. What about this one? Voice stro. Okay. So one cool thing about this, you guys, is when you're taking the test on possessive adjectives, you can immediately narrow down half of your answers. That really significantly increases your odds. How many possessive adjectives do we have? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's fourteen total. And by um, asking yourself, is what we're only singular or plural, you can immediately get rid of half of your answers. Do you see that? Do you understand where that would be? Okay. Um, so let's look at nuestro, nuestra, nuestros, nuestras. What person is that? Those are pronouns for what per, or adjectives, possessive adjectives for what person? First person, because we're talking about our things, and I'm included in them, right? Our things. How about your guises? Second person, plural, muy bien, second person. 
So make sure you're noting those. It'll be very, very, very handy on the worksheet that I'm handing out tomorrow. Okay? Which you guys will be working on. Okay, any questions up to here, and are we okay so far? Yes? Uh, what if you have singu uh, different singular nouns, like uh, I have a dog and a cat? Okay, es mi perro y mi gato. But both of those are both singular and masculine. But we put a possessive adjective before each one. What are the only ones that are going to matter about feminine or masculine, though? These ones here. These ones, what do we care about here? What question would we be asking ourselves for the ones written in purple? Singular or plural, singular or plural is going to be your only question. Singular or plural. Okay. Um, shall we do a few examples here? Yes? No? Okay, let's erase this and let's try it. Um, right now, would you like to do it on whiteboards? Okay, yeah. grab a whiteboard. And if you're watching the video right now, don't stop the video. Please pause this video. Please pause this video and um, get a whiteboard and a marker out, please. Whiteboard and a marker. All right, here we go. <laughs> I want you to say, um, their son-in-laws. Their son-in-laws. How do you say their son-in-laws? What's the first thing you ask yourself? Singular or plural? Singular or plural? Singular or plural? And the answer is? What's the answer? Is it singular or plural? Plural. plural. So automatically I could pick me, tu, su, su, su. Oh no, sorry. Me, tu, su, 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 or any of the plural forms over here. Their son-in-laws. What do you have? Sus yernos. Sus yernos. Muy bien. Sus yernos is what everybody should have written down. Sus yernos. Okay, how about uh, your, mm, your grandchildren? Your grandchildren. Your grandchildren. Your grandchildren. So grandchildren, is that singular or plural? plural? Plural. So let's try this. This is another way to graphically represent this. Okay? We have all the singular ones. What are all of our singular ones? What could they be? Me. Me. What else? Two. Two. What else? Sue. Sue. Sue, Sue, Sue. Do you want me to put Sue on there multiple times or no? No. No. So what else could we have? Nuestro. Nuestro or? Nuestra. Nuestra. Nuestro. Nuestro. Nuestro and Nuestra. And how about what are our plural ones? We have? Mis. Mis. And both me and mis both mean? My. Two and? Two. Twos both mean? Your. Sue and Sue's mean, okay, here it goes. What do they mean? Your formal, his, her, or theirs. Okay. Uh, what about nuestro? Nuestros. Muy bien. Nuestros. Nuestra? Nuestras. Vuestra? Vuestras. Go ahead and do this cheat chart, too, if this is more helpful for you. Oops. What did I do here? Two. Oh, I did two voice stress. Sorry about that. And voice stress now. Okay, so what was that? It was their grandchildren, right? Is what I said? Yes? Yeah. Okay, so what should it be? Oh, I said your. So, tus nietos. But you're only one person. Your grandchildren are super cute. You're one person. Why did you use... Tus. Grandchildren is plural. Grandchildren is plural. Grandchildren is plural. If you're talking to more than one person, then you would have to use the you, your guys's. Okay. How about your guys's friends? Let me see. Your guys's friends. Your guys's friends. Your guys' 
Eliza's friends. Check your spelling. Nice. 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 Uh-huh. I see a lot of right answers. Okay, Ms. Brooks, what do you have? What's the answer? Vuestros amigos. Vuestros amigos. Now, what if I'm looking at more than one of you now, Fix. I'm looking at all of you guys in the back row. And I want to know who's your guys' friend who's the new kid. What would you say? Who's your guys' friend who's the new kid? Let's see it on your whiteboard. Your guys' friend. He wants to answer it or ask? Just your guys' friend. How do you say your guys' friend? All four of you. It's all four of your friend. And we have two girls and two boys. Your guys' friend. Your guys' friend. Do we care that there's two boys and two girls in that, that mix? No. no, we don't care about who owns it. We care about how many things that they own. You should have had vuestro amigo. Repeat it. Vuestro. Vuestro. Amigo. 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 Vuestro amigo. Vuestro amigo. My... Hmm. My... My um, cousin, and she's a girl, my cousin, she's a girl. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien, you got it. My cousin, and she's a girl, my cousin, and she's a girl. We have, repite todos, mi prima. Mi prima. Mi prima. Mi prima. Muy bien. Okay, how about your... Ones. What are some of the weird ones we have trouble remembering? Your father-in-law. Your father-in-law. Your father-in-law. Your father-in-law. Your father-in-law is going to be a boy. Your father-in-law. Muy bien. We have, the answer is, repite todos, two. Two. Suegro. Two suegro. Two suegro. Two suegro. Two suegro. Two suegro. Okay, now I want to start incorporating ser in there a little bit. Okay? Um, they are, right here, these are right here. They are my markers. I want you to write that down. They are my markers. They are my markers. When we're talking about possession, what verb do we use? Ser. Okay, and when we're talking about possession, there's only two forms of ser. You're really close. Check your spelling on marcador. Check your spelling. Check your spelling. Now, do we need the definite article in there? Check your spelling and check your possessive adjective. Check your spelling. When it ends in R, what do we have to add to make it plural? E-S. Let's see it, chicos. Fix them up. All right, right here we have, repite todos, son, son. Mis. mis marcadores. marcadores. Watch out, marcador is spelled with a C here. Marcadores. Marcadores. Okay. It's my job. It's my job. How do you say to work? Trabajar. How do you say a job? Trabajo. Say, it's my job. It is my job. Nice. It's my job. Okay, check your spelling there, sir. Okay. Muy bien. Check your spelling there. Es mi. Repite todos. Tra. Ba. Ba. Ho. Ho. Trabajo. 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 Es mi trabajo. Es mi trabajo. Alright. How about their mm, their journalist. Their journalist? Their journalist. They, have a new they own the journalist. Is their journalist. 
That's a weird one, but we're going to go with it. Their journalist. Check the ending, but yeah, you're right on the right track. That's you. That's their journalism. Their journal. Let's check your spelling there. You got it. Nice. Dude, woman, you're like rocking the vocab. We have repite soup. Soup. Periodista. Periodista. Soup periodista. Soup periodista. Muy bien. Their journalist. Our. Yes? So we have repite nuestro. Nuestro. Reloj. Reloj. Nuestro. Nuestro. Reloj. Reloj. Okay, let me see. Um, hmm. His parents. His parents. His parents. His parents. Sus padres. Muy bien. Sus padres. Your answer should be sus padres. Sus padres. Okay. Muy bien. Muy bien. Uh, how about her? Her doctor. Her doctor. Her doctor. Can you find the nationalities back there and say the nationalities? Thank you very much for doing that. You can print it on landscape. When you print it, print it again and do landscape. Okay. Su doctora or su doctor. Okay, or su medico or su medica. Muy bien. Chicos, are we feeling kind of comfortable with these? Okay, I would like to see you rate yourself on a scale of zero to five. Now, today my goal is for you to be at a three. A three says, I understand what we're doing. I understand how to do it, but I need my notes to do it. One says, lady, I don't have a clue what you've been rambling about for the last 20 minutes. Two, I vaguely recognize some of what you're saying, but I don't know what we're doing. Three, I understand what we're doing, but I definitely need my notes. Four, I actually think I have most of these memorized, and I can do this without my notes. Five, I'm ready to take the quiz. Give it to me now. My goal for you today is a three. Are we there-ish? Nice. So this is one of the easier concepts. Woo woo! Muy bien. All right, here we go, chicos. Put your markers down, eyes are up here, super duper voices, nationalities. Pretty darn easy. A lot of them are cognates, okay? They're cognates. The tricky part is this. Okay, everybody please wait to put your stuff away so that we don't have to hear it on the video. What's going to be tricky are the accents and the spelling on this. So, your pronunciation is very important. We have repite, chino. 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 Chinese. 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 How would you say a Chinese girl? China. S. China. She is China. When you're talking about someone's nationality, what verb are we using? So. Ser. Ser. We're using ser. China. We have repite. Aleman. 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 Que significa aleman? German. German. Aleman is German. How are you going to make this feminine? Alemana. Alemana. And what happens? The accent disappears. The accent disappears, but only on which forms? With the accents, the seven last letter. But only on the what forms? The feminine. Muy bien. The feminine forms. We have repite. Russo. 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 Que significa Russo? Russian. What about a, a Russian lady? Russa. Russa. Muy bien. We have repite. Cana. Cana. Di. Di. Ense. Ense. Cana. Cana di di ense. Everybody knows it's Canadian, yes, but how about that spelling? 
Do you think it's on the quiz on Friday? Yeah, buddy, it is. Repeat it. Kana, D, Ense. Kana, D, Ense. Kana, D, Ense. How would I say Canadians? Canadians. Canadians. What about a whole group of Canadian girls? Oh, Canadienses again. Why? Because if it ends in an E, we let it be. Muy bien. All right, here we go. Another another hardcore one. Repite. Equa. Tor. Iano. Equa. Tor. Iano. Equatoriano. Equatoriano. Equatoriano is someone from Ecuador. Ecuador. And you think of the equator. When I see this, I think of the equator. Repeat it, Ecuatoriano. Ecuatoriano. Ecuatoriana. Muy bien. We have repeat Español. Español. Now this one is tricky because Español is the same word that we use for Spanish, right? But a person who is Español or a girl would be Español. La. La. You are saying Spanish is in from Spain, Spanish. Okay? They are someone from Spain. Español or Española. Okay, we have repite. Estado unidense. Estado unidense. Estado unidense. Can you spell this one? Yeah. No? Okay, so sound it out. We have repite. Eh. Eh. Sta. Sta. Do. Do. Estado. Estado. It's kind of like state. Estado. 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 Uni. Uni. Dense. Dense. Estado. Estado. Uni. Uni. Dense. Dense. With a S E. S E, right? Estado unidense. Como se dice Russian? Chinese. Uh, German. Ale. Man. With an acento sobre la. Ah. But it falls off in what form? The feminine. The feminine. Uh, Canadian. Repite. Cana. D. Ense. Cana. Cana. D. Ense. Cana. D. Ense. Muy bien. How about Ecuadorian? This one's hard. Repeat it. Equa. Tor. Equatoriano. Equatoriano. Espanol. Como se dice French? Does anyone know? Frances. Repeat it. Frances. Alemán. Inglés. Japonés. I think I got all of them. Oh, Irlandés. That's all of them. Repeat it. Frances. Francais. And what does Francais mean? From France. From France, or aka French. How, what about a girl? Francesa. Francesa. Muy bien. We have repeat it. Inglés. And then it will be Inglés. Sa. Italiano. Italiana. Italiana. Can you significa Italiano? Italian. Repeat it. Japonés. Japonesa. Muy bien. Mexicano. Mexicano. That was Japanese. Oh. Japanese, sorry. Mexicano. Mexicano. Mexicana. Mexicanos. Mexicanos. Mexicanas. Mexicanas. Chino. Chino. China. 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 Chinos. Chinos. Chinas. 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 Ruso. Ruso. Rusa. 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 Rusos. Rusos. Rusas. 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 What do you notice about the ones that end in an O? How many forms do they have? Four. Four of them. It's just like any adjective. Okay. We have repite. Norte Americano. Norte Americano. Norte. 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 Americano. Now, what does it mean to be North American? Don't you pack up. You're from Canada, the States, or Mexico. You're from Canada, the United States, or Mexico. Yes? Norte Americano. Okay? Then we have, repeat it, Puerto. Puerto. Okay, Puerta? What is a Puerta? A door. Puerto, okay, is a port, or it's the door to Puerto Rico. It's a place filled with riquezas. Riches. Okay. So we have repeat it. Puerto. Puerto. Ri. Ri. Queño. How many R's here? Because this is a bear. Doble R. Repeat it. Puerto. Ri. Puerto Ri. Queño. Puerto Riqueña. Muy bien. Uh, we have repeated el inglés, el francés, el japonés, el inglés, el alemán. Adiós.